yours truly, Dan Adams, a.k.a. The Social Conservative. The DA and the prosecutor coming to you with the audio version of the Dan Adams Show. Been away for a minute and uh, going to get back into it, y'all. Just You know, when life hits you at certain angles, when life hits you below the belt sometimes, you need to take a break. And seeing that, you know, I ain't getting paid to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> It really, you know, it's not where I'm like losing money or losing revenue or things of that nature. I just do this because I love to do it. It's something I think that God gave me a gift to do, so that's why I do it. But let's go ahead and get to the topic at hand. And the topic at hand is political civility. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have had the pundits talking this past week and with the Congressional Baseball assassination attempt by that idiot, we've had basically the left running, screaming, hollering, yelling, and also ducking in regards to political civility and how we need to handle ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. The left is trying to tell us how to handle ourselves in the political spectrum. Now, you may look at it as this, okay? I'm going to bring a couple of things into, into fold here, so just bear with me. But let's talk about the assassination attempt on the GOP congressional members this past week. I blame no one and no one else but that idiot who pulled the trigger. But, ladies and gentlemen, but... I'm not going to let off the hook the left and their rhetoric. I am not saying that the left's rhetoric caused this man to do what he did. And major, major props and kudos to the Capitol Police who reacted like they did. Which, Lord have mercy, if they weren't there, we would be talking about 20 plus individuals and their deaths. So, God bless those Capitol Police and God bless those individuals who are on the mend and God bless Steve Scalise who a lot of people on the left can't stand but I'm hoping that those people on the left are praying for his recovery. But what are we supposed to do going forward, ladies and gentlemen? What are we supposed to do when an incident like this happens and you have insane liberal numb nut moon bats calling for the death of Steve Steve Calise, Scalise, excuse me, calling for more deaths on the GOP side? How are we supposed to react to that, ladies and gentlemen? How are we supposed to respond to that kind of, and I'm putting up my air quotes, political, political rhetoric? That's not rhetoric, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just make that clear and concise. That is not political rhetoric. That is insanity, okay? That is an in individuals who, number one, are speaking on taking the lives of individuals who have a opposing political view. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. An opposing political view, the left, and I'm not going to say it doesn't happen on the right because I see it too, but I primarily see it on the left, calling for the death of individuals on the opposite aisle of their political beliefs. So when you talk about political civility and I'm hearing all of these leftist, liberal, numb nut, moon bat, mainstream media outlets talking about we need to plant the seeds, we need to map out a better path in regards to political civility, but yet these liberal, leftist, numb nut, moon bat, mainstream media outlets and let's throw CNN at the top because right now they're supporting a play, <laughs> and I'm putting that in the air quotes, ladies and gentlemen. They're supporting financially, verbally, 
emotionally and everything else, a play that has the assassination of Donald J. Trump in it. So how, CNN, you're gonna call on me to be politically civil when you support and back a play that has the assassination of our president? Are you friggin' kidding me? Go back to the drawing board, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to political civility on the left. Go back to the drawing board. Why aren't you calling out these idiots? These insane individuals who after an assassination attempt on GOP congressional members, wishing that these people would have died. So ladies and gentlemen, until I see those on the left condemn those kind of individuals, now I'm not the one that will speak like that. I am not the one that has thoughts like that. I am not the one. But I'm not gonna tone down my rhetoric, ladies and gentlemen. Not going to do it. Until, ladies and gentlemen, until I see the left in this country condemn, ladies and gentlemen, condemn the behavior of these insane individuals who call for the killing of the GOP, who call for the killing of individuals who have an opposing political view, who call for the killing of me because I don't believe in what they believe in. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and move on from the congressional assassination attempt this past week. And for those who have not heard, this morning, overnight in London, there was an attack, ladies and gentlemen, an attack on a mosque. A normal, everyday, walking around white boy in London got in a van, took it upon himself to wait until individuals exited out of this mosque and mowed down Muslims. Now I'm already seeing, already seeing individuals on Facebook and Twitter that are either straight line, libertarian, Republican or conservative almost justifying the act of this lunatic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, put it on record. I condemn the attack on this mosque in, Mon in London, ladies and gentlemen. I condemn that individual who took it upon himself, who, yeah, we on the right, and I'm talking about us, us those on the right, we call for individuals on the left to condemn Islamic terrorism, but we are not gonna condemn some numb nut lunatic who wanted to just mow down Muslims just because they were Muslims? How hypocritical is that, ladies and gentlemen? So, as you go about your day to day, you learn more about this attack. I look at it like this, ladies and gentlemen. I am an individual who condemns Islamic terrorism at every front. But I'm also going to condemn an individual like this who took it upon himself to just mow down Muslims just because they were Muslims. That's like an individual who has racist, racist, racist blood flowing through his veins and will look at me as a black man and say to himself, he hates me just because I am black. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know my heart. He doesn't know where I stand in life in regards to what is dear to me. So how are we gonna not condemn this London Muslim mosque attack just because there were Muslims and the atmosphere that we're in right now with Islamic terrorism not everyone in that mosque ladies and gentlemen has radical Islamic views 
Just like not every black person walking this planet, <coughs> excuse me, not every black man walking this planet is a violent, is a pants sagging, is a ignorant individual. So as you go about your day, ladies and gentlemen, and you learn more about, about this London mosque attack, keep it in perspective. We rail against Islamic radical jihadism, then we need to condemn and rail against attacks like this. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday. It is the Monday morning blues. May God continue to bless you and yours. May he keep you and your family safe. Until next time, God bless. Peace. And you know this, man. Oh.